This is a, uh, an addition to chapter one uh, of the CISSP. Um, there are eight domains that are addressed uh, with this uh, certification. Um, on no particular order uh, of preference, uh, I will describe them. Uh, the one of the domains is security and risk management, which covers many of the foundational concepts of information system security. Uh, the topics include the principles of confidentiality, integrity, and availability, which is or used to be called CIA Triad or IAC. Now I think. Uh, the next topic is security po uh, governance and compliance, legal and regulatory issues, professional ethics, personnel security policies, risk management, and threat modeling. Again, this is the security and risk management domain. The next one is asset security. This uh, domain uh, covers the protection of assets throughout their life cycle. Some of the topics uh, include uh, asset identification and classification, maintaining information and asset ownership, privacy, asset retention, data security controls, information and asset handling requirements. This is the asset security domain. The next one would be security, architecture, and engineering. Uh, this uh, domain examines uh, the development of information systems that remain secure in the face of a myriad of threats. Some of the topics include security design principles, physical security, security site and facility design, cryptography, selection of effective controls, mitigation of vulnerabilities. The next domain, communication and network security. Uh, this one covers the following topics, security, oh, I'm sorry, secure network architectures, secure network components, and secure communication channels. The following also uh, domain, Identity and Access Management, IAM or IAM. Uh, this identity, access, identity and Access Management is one of the most important topics in IS or Information Security. This domain covers the interactions between users and systems as well as between systems and other systems. So it's, 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 it will be a good idea to really understand uh, when we arrive to this domain how, uh, how important it is to understand it. Uh, and includes the following topics. Controlling physical and logical access to assets, identification and authentication, identity as a service, third party identity services, and authorization methods. So all this, you know, we will talk about it once we get to each of the domains in the chapters that will follow. The next domain is security assessment and testing. Uh, this domain also examines ways to verify the security of our information system. Some of the topics include assessment and testing strategies, testing security controls, collecting security process data, analyzing and reporting results, conducting and facilitating audits. The next domain is security operations. This domain covers the many activities involved in the daily business of maintaining the security of the networks. Some of the topics include supporting investigations, investigation types and their requirements, logging and monitoring, secure provisioning of resources. And the last but not least, software development security. 
Uh, this includes the following topics, security in the software development life cycle, security controls in development environments, assessing software security, assessing the security implications of acquired software, and secure coding guidelines and standards. Now, I invite you to purchase uh, the book online or get a hard copy so you can, you fo you can follow along uh, with what we'll be uh, covering uh, within all the chapters uh, because I will be showing you some slides or some screenshots but nothing really, um, you know, uh, from the book uh, itself. Uh, because I think it's private property, but I mean, <coughs> I will be talk. I will be talking about uh, the different uh, uh, contents uh, within the book, or the content uh, within the book. So, uh, without further ado, uh, let's move on to uh, the next video. Thank you.